subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up beautiful people out there? This is me Ashish Chauhan from Ashish Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, Valentine's Day special photo manipulation for boys in for assault like boy holding the guitar and we are gonna do a very awesome photo manipulation for the Valentine's Day. So before getting into the video just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to log on to our website that is www.aspherecreations.com from there you can download camera preset, lightroom preset, loots, backgrounds, pngs and every kind of photo editing stuff and don't forget to follow me on instagram so let's jump to the video open the photoshop and open the photograph which you want to get edited now you can just click some kind of pose in the this way like a boy is just holding the guitar in the hand and just select the subject by using the quick selection tool you can also use the pen tool to select a whole subject properly i have already made a video on that so you can check out that in the link given in the description now just right click on and select layer by copy option or directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make the duplication so here you can see we have made a duplication of the image let's add background to the photograph so just browse the background so let's add this autumn you know look on the image just drag and drop over here press ctrl D to enlarge the image now all we're gonna do is let's just uh, go to the filter select blur and then just select the box blur and just blur it uh, only 2 or 3 percent would be enough or five now let's make the uh, hair of the subject let's just select the eraser tool delete some portion select the smudge tool and make the hairs of the subject So like this way you can just make the subject's hair. Now the next thing would be to you know give the photograph uh, awesome loot on the image first of all we'll just go to the levels and level uh, click on the below icon and just move the slider from left to right until this point to enhance the image so here you can see we have created a perfect deafness on the image now just merge both the layers and just blur the edges of the subject so select the blur tool from there and just uh, you know blur the edges so that it will actually merge the merge it with the background so no one okay, so the photograph would not be looking like it is you know edited image so it is very much necessary that you should you know blur the image or the background whenever you do the editing process make sure you have done this process of blurring the edges so this is how you have to do the blurring process
make sure no one no part of the image is remain unblurred just blur the whole image in a perfect way so that it will look you know very much realistic and it will actually blend your photograph with the background which we want so here we have uh, almost covered our process of blurring now let's just add some more you know grass on the image so let's select this grass png just drag and drop over here press ctrl t to enlarge the image now press ctrl u on the keyboard and change the color of the trees to red color now just go to the filter select blur then just select the Gaussian blur and just make it more blur and just press ctrl t and n and you can just keep it somewhere over here Again just press Alt key to duplicate the image. Press Ctrl T. Now let's just uh, add some more PNG on the image. So let's select this. Just drag and drop over this tab. Press Control Alt U to you know get the desired amount of color. So the color of the uh, PNG grass is totally changed to now again just make it to Gaussian blur, rotate it, and just keep it somewhere over here. Again just duplicate the layer by pressing ALT key. Now here we want our photograph to be you know keep as our Instagram profile so all we have to do is just crop it in a square position select the crop tool and just select the 1 is to 1 ratio and let's just enlarge the image so that you can keep this photo as your Instagram square profile photograph now just hit enter now just all you need to do is just merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layer now let's go to the filter and select the camera filter from there now the first thing we'll do is just uh, adjust uh, you know calibration so let's just move this slider from here slider to over there so it is you know really giving your photograph a very teal and orange look which we actually want in our image you can just decrease some brightness from here or the saturation Now let's add some vignetti on the image. Now 
increase the clarity or the contrast decrease some highlights from the image increase the shadows and decrease some blackness and decrease some whiteness from the image increase the clarity now here it is looking your photograph is looking way more you know original and just unique color with kind of or you can also you know give if you want to add some preset you can also add that, those preset in the image you can check out all this preset otherwise you can just keep your photograph as it is now just hit the ok button from the image now just select the black color from or the selective color and just move the slider from over here to minus 13 So here you can see the huge difference can be seen in the image. It is really looking your photograph a very awesome look. Still you can add some more you know uh, exposure to it. So just select the exposure and select more offset on the image. So here you can see the before and after effect. Your photograph would be looking very much original and very cinematic. And here we will add some more, you know, sunlight on the image. So just create new layer. And just select the brush tool and just uh, select any of the orange color from over here. Increase the size of the brush. And just paint one stroke of the color and just to select this color from over here decrease the size of the brush let's more select the white color Now just press Ctrl D and change the blending mode to screen. And you can just keep it somewhere over here to you know get those lightness on the image. Press Ctrl U and you can just adjust the uh, whiteness of the image. This one is looking really very much you know the sun rays are just passing and just coming to the image or else you can also add some you know filters to it so just go to the render then select the lens flare from there and just keep this lens flare over here
and hit ok so it is really looking way more you know like sun flares are just coming to the in image so here you can see the before and after if it is really looking very cinematic and it would be the perfect photo for your valentine day i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and if you still have subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.asfitcreations.com from there you can find new backgrounds, camera wizard, light room wizard and every kind of photo editing stuff for me so go and check out that website well thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video